So the one question I've been asked consistently over the years while here on YouTube is which coins should you be trading? And it really doesn't matter whether that's manual or automated bot trading, how you would pick those coins is gonna be pretty much the same. So just imagine you were gonna buy here on these greens, sell on the reds, and every few days you're gonna be making these trades. Uh, that is pretty flat compared to something else, which is maybe like this trade here, where you can see there is a lot more volatility there. And volatility means buying and selling opportunities, the opportunity to make money. And that is exactly what we need as traders, is more opportunities to make money, more volatility, more ups and downs in the market. So let me just show you a really simple way that you can do this for any cryptocurrency. Right, I'm gonna be showing you this using the strategy that I'm currently using with the bot. And uh, if you wanna know more about how the strategy works, you can watch this video up here. I'll leave a link for it at the end of this video, maybe also in the description down below. But basically, all of these red triangles at the top, this is where it will send a sell signal, and the green ones is, is a buy signal. All of this, as I say, explained in a different video. But what we have here, if we scroll backwards, is you're gonna wanna sort of get in about 30 days worth. So you can see this strategy actually starts at the 30 day previous there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look for, this is RSR, so Reserves Rights Coin, and just adjust it so that we can see all 30 days of the, uh, the trading history. Okay, so there we go. That's about right there. And then what I want is one of these. So if you right click here, you can see a whole bunch of different uh, tools here. I'm gonna choose the path icon. And then very simply, just start counting the trading opportunities. So from one open, one green, all the way up to a red, counts as one uh, trading opportunity. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we've got 16 for RSR. And I've done that for all of these coins. So this is 44 coins, which you can trade using the uh, strategy that I'm using right now. But obviously, I don't wanna trade all 44 coins. The reason why you don't wanna trade 44 coins, I've spoken about in another video, probably leave more links here for it, and it's all about being overly diversified. You see, because most things just follow Bitcoin anyway, by the time you've added already like 10 plus coins, it's not really gonna have any benefit to your account, so your best bet is just to pick with sort of like 10 to 15 coins, which are really, really good to trade, and just stick with those. So I put all of those into this little spreadsheet here, and get down to RSR, I believe it was 16. So now with all of those, we can begin now to filter this through and just work out which ones are the best ones. Here we go, so we've got the worst performers up here at the top, so we've got like Lit, Ethereum, BNB, Phil, Doge, Bitcoin, XRP, these are all the not very volatile, not a lot of trading opportunities with those coins. And I'm sure you'll agree, those coins are the sorts of ones that you may want to invest in long term. You know, things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, they're good long term holds. But then down here, we've got some smaller cap coins, which are just going to be good for trading. So short term trading to make money. Uh, but what we want, though, is we know obviously these here are the best ones. But if we wanna know which are the above average coins very easily, just stick it in here, collect all of those coins, snap it on, and here we go. So we got 15.83, so basically 16. So I'd say that 16 would be average, and anything above 16 is therefore gonna be an above average return. So that's a quick and easy way that anybody could do with a TradingView account, which is free, by the way, but we can do even better than that. Now you can use that one for any sort of strategy that you want, but if you're using some of our strategies, then if you come here to the website, you go to Trading Signals, go to Signals Tracker, 
and you can then click on any strategy that you like. So right now I'm using this one, BISC HRF. It's been performing pretty well, as you would have seen in some of my videos, made uh, some very good gains on this over the last couple of months. This is what we had previously, was just these simple stats to give you some idea of the profitability of the strategy as a whole, but we didn't have anything for the coins. All we had was the, the closed trades. You can see that here, it's uh, done really, really well. Only one loss out of all of those recent trades and all of the open trades, what you've got here. And now we've got this one, coin stats. So in here, this is the really good stuff. Uh, you can see throughout the lifetime of a coin just where its maximum gain was and the date that it was. So you can actually check that on the chart, what the maximum loss is that it's made, what the average gain or loss for a coin would be, and also the strategy that we've been using since a set time. So this is since the uh, 12th of August. And then versus if you just hodled the coin. So if you just bought Aave on the 12th of August, you would currently be down 30%. And true enough, here was Aave on the 12th of August. And right now, there we go, we are down about 30%. And you can see all of that right here. And this is gonna allow you to choose some much better coins in future. So we got down here, we've got AVAX is done uh, better than it would have done if you had been holding it, yes, yeah? so we're down only 14% trading using the strategy rather than down 35%, but it's still a loss and your average is still uh, a minus figure, so probably leave off the AVAX. And just as we saw before, trading something like Bitcoin isn't a great idea because uh, you would be down 13, 14%, but instead you're just down 5%. But at the end of the day, it's still a negative figure. It is only 32 trades uh, since the 10th of August, whereas other coins, you know, you're doing 39, 38, 37, 41 or 43 up there for Algo, which has done very, very well. Just scrolling down here, you are going to see that every single instance here, um, hodling was definitely the loser. Hodling is for losers. Trading is for winners. So even right now, so we're in a down market right now things are going very very bearish everything's going down and if you were to hodl you're going to be going down with the market but rather than being down 39 percent if you had traded using this strategy with this one here da you'd actually be up 6.5 percent and that is the same pretty much all the way down some of these are new so dogecoin here you can see it's only done one trade so far but for all of the coins which have been around for some time here doing about 40 trades 30 trades you can see that no matter what, you would have been down if you had hodled, but through trading, using the strategy, you are definitely making money. So now we have some really in-depth stats, some stuff which is really gonna help you to choose the right coins for you. I've been through this myself uh, just last night, and I've picked 12 absolutely perfect coins out of those 44 please do let me know in the description down below some of your most favorite coins. And if there's any coins that you know of that are not in our list of 44 and you believe that would do very, very well on that list, then again, do let us know that in the comments down below. Uh, that is about it for me. It is a very, very simple subject. So check out this video right here, which is gonna let you uh, know a little bit more in depth about this strategy that I'm using, how much money I've made over the last couple of weeks trading using the strategy, it's been great. And I'm very confident that uh, you're gonna want a cut of that action as well. So that's it from me and I'll see you guys in the next video.